Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Simone. And today I wanted to demonstrate how you can make um, juice in a vacuum blender. Um, a lot of people have made, you know, juices in a blender before. Um, a lot of times using the Vitamix, so at least the Vitamix will kind of like open up all the cells of the produce and everything. But the big downside to making juice in a blender is that um, everything gets oxidized very quickly, like even more so than in a centrifugal juicer, which people don't recommend because of how much it oxidizes the juice. So it's gonna be way worse in a, in a blender. <laughs> and um, when you have a lot of oxidation, it um, changes the flavor, but it's usually the potency of the flavor that can let you know how much nutrition is actually still in the juice and how much vitality, how, how alive it still is. Um, so oxygen, um, even though we need it to live and to breathe and everything, um, when it comes to our juices, we really want to fight oxygen and ox oxi oxidation. So what I'm gonna do today is um, I got some grapes here. I'm just gonna make a mono fruit juice with just green grapes. I'm going to um, do half of this in my Nama J2 and do half of it in my vacuum blender. And what I'm just going to compare is basically just the um, the flavor um, and also just demonstrate how to even do the juice in the vacuum blender and um, just kind of show like how much more steps it is, like there are benefits and there are downsides to it, um, but also just kind of test out the Nama J2 because it is like, um, you know, a cold press juicer. It does run at a very low RPM. So when it comes to juicers that will um, fight oxidation for you, this is a really good option as well. But um, doing like uh, doing vacuum blending, um, but while you're able, where you're actually able to take the oxygen out of the container when it's blending, and then you're also able to store it under vacuum as well, is um, pretty powerful for making juices. So just wanted to demonstrate that for you. Um, so I guess I'll just show you um, the vacuum blender first and explain a little bit about how it works. Okay, so this is my Me City vacuum blender. It's very cheap. <laughs> I'll leave a link to it. Um, I got it on Amazon. And uh, the main reason why I decided to get a cheap vacuum blender was to just try out vacuum blending to make juice just to see what it was like. And um, I've had this Vitamix uh, for many, many years, <laughs> and it served me very well. It gets things very, very smooth, but there's no way to vacuum blend um, unless you get a special uh, vacuum blender carafe. Um, <clears throat> but I decided to go with this mainly because um, the um, vacuum blending attachment actually comes off of it and you can use it to vacuum store your juices which i'll show you how i do i do that in all my videos too um it's just easy and uh it's just better to store under vacuum um <clears throat> so i like that this comes off and um, i'll show you the back in a second um but basically what you do is you don't actually don't even need this to be on top of the blender when you take out the um the air so you just stick this on top and then you press the power button and what it's doing now is sucking out all the air in the carafe so that when you go to blend it's um, blending under vacuum. So it takes a little bit longer than when you're just um, doing a juice, but I just wanted to show you about how long it takes to get the air out of this size. So then <clears throat> all you do is just put this on here. You probably need two hands to do this because it like clicks into place. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll do that in a second. But um, yeah, let, let me just pause this and I'll come back. Okay, so now that um, the jar is fully on, the on button comes on. And then you basically can choose like any of these functions that show up here. But um, what I normally do is um, do two rounds. So you don't get to like choose how long you do it. 
which is a benefit of like another kind of blender where you have more control over it. I mean, you can do it on this. You can just hold down the pulse extra button and then you can blend for as long as you want. But I usually just press the fruit juice and then the smoothie extra, or I start with this and then do the fruit juice. But basically I just do two rounds to make sure everything gets fully blended up. And uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and start. I need to turn it on first. Okay, so it's done blending. Um, I'm actually just going to do one round because I guess just because it's, it's just grapes, it's actually, it, it blended it up very easily. Um, sometimes I've done like apple and grape and some other mixes like ginger or stuff like that. And I'll talk a little bit about like what kind of juices you can make in the blender. It's not every kind of juice. But um, yeah, for this amount of fruit juice with just grapes, it was like real easy to just do one round. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is, um, oops. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to pour this into a nut milk bag and then squeeze it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is remove the vacuum seal. So now I can remove the lid. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> and um, I'm just, my setup here for straining the juice um, is this Alexa's bag. Uh, brand nut milk bag which is recommended by uh, uh, John Kohler of Discount Juicers that's how I got this method <clears throat> was from him and um, I just used this eight cup anchor hawking um, I'll leave this as a link as well and um, yeah the glass this fits perfectly over this size and uh, just makes it easy to pour the juice out after so all you do is just pour this in here juice just comes right out and this is just a, a fruit juice so it's pretty easy to to strain it with the nut milk bag uh veggie juicers or anything with like harder produce is going to be a little bit harder to strain but this is going to be pretty easy and quick oh oh no that's the thing about doing this is that it's pretty messy. So I just made a little bit of a mess. Squeeze a little bit too hard. So you just gotta take your time with it. Just gently squeeze out. I'm already almost done, I can feel it. Cause it just gets harder and harder to press out the juice, but it's still pretty easy right now. And there's not much left in there. So for like expensive produce, like if you're doing something like cherry juice or blueberry juice and you have like or pomegranate juice, something that's like really expensive, um, this is a really good option because you're going to be able to get like every single drop out. It also creates a very smooth juice, um, but like a thicker texture. It's like richer, but um, no pulp. All the pulp stays in the bag. I think that's pretty much everything I'm going to get out of there. There might be a little bit left, but... Okay. And then this is what the pulp looks like. And there's so little because <laughs> it's grape juice. So it's just like completely demolished it. Um... And then, yeah, cleaning this is pretty easy. Um, you just kind of dump out the pulp and the pulp is just like, it's just like Play-Doh. There's nothing else you're gonna get out of there. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could maybe squeeze a little bit harder, but I've pretty much gotten it all out. And um, <clears throat> yeah, you just get the pulp out and then under the sink, you just like, I could lather it up with soap and then just rinse it out a lot under the sprayer. And then um, I use, I use this to kind of just lay it out and dry it. So I'll show that process after I'm done. Mm. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna make some grape juice in the Nama J2, and this is super easy. Um, just pour everything in here. Close the lid. And it just automatically makes the juice for you. You don't have to squeeze anything. <laughs> but you'll see there'll be a lot more pulp that comes out because it's not going to get as high of a yield. For context, this is how much we got with the vacuum lighter. I didn't exactly measure, uh, I just kind of eyeballed it, but yeah, it should be about the same amount. I'm gonna wait till the pulp stops coming out of this side. We're almost done. Yeah, stop moving on this side. Yeah, this pulp is very wet. I shouldn't say very wet, it's just like very moist. The color is so different. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there. is just like it's very very light green <laughs> we also got a very good yield filled up almost the this filled up more this filled up like the full 24 ounce jar look at that color difference wow that's interesting so now I'm gonna try them okay so now I'm gonna try them I'm gonna try what came out of the vacuum blender first mm. well it's really good <laughs> mm. yeah it has like um like a very viscous um texture in the mouth but it's so smooth it's like no pulp whatsoever mm. can't stop drinking it. it's just so good <laughs> Um, and then this is what came out of the Nama J2. The color is just so beautiful. Mmm. Wow, it can definitely taste a lemon. But, um, it's very mild. But yeah, it's, um... Mm. I'm actually surprised that I like this better. <laughs> I like this a lot better. I don't think it's just a lemon. I don't know. Um, I just think... <laughs> Whatever the Nama J2 is doing, what it's like selectively selecting stuff out of the pulp, like whatever is left there probably needs to be there uh, when it takes out the pulp. Cause like, yeah, whatever the color difference is like so wild. Maybe this just has the weirder parts of the grape. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, this just tastes incredible. It just tastes so good. It has a very strong like grape flavor it's very sweet and um mm. i don't know maybe it's not a super fair comparison <laughs> because of the lemon but i just like this one better but maybe i'll do another one of these i'm not selling my vacuum blender i'll have it around so i can do more comparisons and see with a different type of juice which one i like better but um <clears throat> yeah my experience though so far with the vacuum blender is that 
they seem to have just like a very very strong pronounced flavor but i've never done like a head-to-head -head like this so it's just quite surprising so um yeah other things about the um the me city vacuum blender um <clears throat> is that i think it'll be a great travel juicer for me because um it's pretty light like i don't want to unplug it but <laughs> it's pretty light it's not very heavy and um it just seems like it might be more portable for travel than like getting like a dedicated travel juicer that might not actually juice things that well like at least i know the the vacuum blender juices things well um the only thing is that i have tried to make straight lemon juice with the peel in there and it does not work it just takes forever for the lemons to blend up it just doesn't do a good job with the peel because it's just not very powerful and um but i could do um if i just peel the lemons um that works a lot better i, I have done that and then i just use the um the nut milk bag to strain out the juice but when i travel i also have like a different kind of setup for doing lemon enemas um <clears throat> but i don't really plan to do that much traveling anyway <laughs> so it's not that big a deal but just like theoretically thinking like how i could use the vacuum blender as like a way to make juice on the go is a pretty that's a pretty good um thing i have tried to make like dressings in it and it doesn't get things very smooth um what i prefer to use is like a stick blender if i don't have my vitamix the stick blender gets things smoother than the me city blender but it has done a perfectly fine job of dressings i don't really care that much about the texture um so for me it's still useful even though it's not a very powerful blender i think when i can afford to i will upgrade to the dynapro but the only downside to the dynapro i was thinking about before getting it was that the um Actually, I do need to show you the vacuum blender. Hold on. Yeah, the reason why I decided to wait on getting the Dynapro, um, <clears throat> the main thing was the attachment, the vacuum attachment. It only runs on like batteries you have to replace, which I just thought would be like really annoying for me. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had some kind of appliance where I had to like replace the batteries. Um, so I um, just thought that would be annoying. Like there's hacks and like workarounds people have found so that it's not that big a deal um that you can use like rechargeable batteries in there but i just didn't want to fuss with that especially with such an expensive blender um so i'm hoping that there are new newer models of vacuum blenders that have a more user-friendly vacuum pump but the nice thing about having a detachable um vacuum pump is that you can use this to vacuum vacuum store your juices so i'm going to show you how i do that in a second I just wash this so it's like <laughs> dripping everywhere um but with the me city vacuum blender the reason why i chose this one specifically is because it detaches and then this is how it recharges so if you just keep your blender plugged in all the time all you got to do is put this on the back and it recharges so you always have it charged you don't have to worry about the battery dying and that's been the biggest benefit for me so i knew that even if i didn't like the blender itself i knew i was going to be vacuum storing my juices and that the vacuum pump by itself would still be useful and that has proven true <laughs> so for me that's why i decided to take the risk and try this vacuum blender i'm gonna do like a full separate review of the vacuum blender um, once i have more experience with it and stuff um but i just wanted to kind of do this little comparison of making juice in the two and just see how different it is but like i said i'm just kind of shocked by the flavor difference and the color difference um because i thought with the less oxidation with this like it wouldn't you know change the color the way that it did on this but i'm gonna try other juices and see what happens like apple juice would be a really great comparison because apple juice oxidizes very very quickly <laughs> so um we'll see but both juice taste incredible to me they both taste really good but i definitely prefer what came out of the nama and like i said it might not be a super fair comparison there's a little bit of lemon um but i don't think the lemon was really the biggest deal i think there's like something else um there's like a tangible difference in the two juices and i prefer the nama so I think oh i wanted to show you how to like um use the vacuum pump to take the uh, air out i'm gonna do a separate video just on like vacuum sealing with all the different um tools and everything but for this i'll just show you really quick how you do that <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so what you do is you use um like a regular mason jar lid like that comes with um the mason jars and you can buy these separately um you just don't need the outer ring <laughs> and you just take this inner piece here you just place it on there you take um this food saver thing which i'll leave a link to it in the description box but i just got this on amazon and uh, it works better for the wide mouth mouth jars um do i have the 
I think I might have, no, I think I just got this one. I can't remember if I got one for the narrow mouth jars yet. But anyway, I just use the wide mouth ones because mostly I drink out of these jars anyway. And um, <clears throat> you just steal it on top. So you just put it on top until it reaches the, the lip of the, the jar. And then you put the vacuum sealer thing and you could use any vacuum sealer, but I just got this because I knew it would be, be versatile and I could use it this way. You just slide it on top of the top part of the food saver and you turn it on. And then when you hear that, it means it is done. And then I just test it by, you know, lifting it up by the lid. And if it stays on there, then you know you've got a tight seal. And that is it for this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.